Alright, so just to preface this video, uh, I should make it clear that this was supposed to come out after the Pokemon Ruby finale, but unfortunately I lost all of my grinding progress there, so we had a bit of a setback on that. But anyway, let's just get into the video. So completely separate of me just playing Pokemon Ruby on the channel, I've also been playing my own personal copy of Pokemon Ruby on the Game Boy Advance. And I've been going about just trying to get all the Pokemon I can into the Pokedex. I haven't been doing any trading, I haven't been doing anything crazy like that, I just figured, hey, I have some Pokemon, they can evolve, I could probably fill out this Pokedex as best as I can. And that's exactly what I've been doing for quite a while, I've been catching Pokemon, leveling them up near Victory Road, and evolving some really tough Pokemon to evolve like Metagross and Salamence. And as I'm scrolling through the Pokedex, just kind of ignoring the other starters and the other uh, version-exclusive Pokemon to Sapphire, it dawned upon me that I don't have a Feebas, and I figured, oh, that's no problem, that's just the Generation 3 equivalent to Magikarp, right? So sure, we have another fish that hardly knows any moves, it evolves into a neat little sea snake kind of thing. It probably evolves at level 20 too. That'll be no trouble at all. Oh, how little I knew. Okay, so the first problem, actually catching a Feebas. It's a lot harder than you'd think. Unlike Magikarp, where you can get in any body of water with just an old rod, Feebas is only found in one route in the game. Fine, I've beaten the Elite Four, I have Fly with my Flygon, all that jazz, I'll just fly to the route and catch it there. Well, there's another problem with that. You see, not only is it exclusive to this route, but it's randomly placed in several different tiles throughout. So no, you can't just look up where can I find Feebas, you actually have to go through the trouble of fishing through every patch of water, and you have to do it multiple times, because even if the patch does have Feebas, there's only a 50% chance they show up. So you might even end up completely missing the Feebas if you just get unlucky. The best method I found for this? Just fish in every single spot, top to bottom, about three times per spot, and put on a movie in the back so you don't get bored easily. Eventually you'll find a Feebas. Surely enough, I got one, and I figured, okay. Now that I got that tough part out of the way, all I gotta do is evolve it, right? Right? Oh boy. So you guys know I don't really like trade evolution, it's kind of a weird concept in the first place that you have to give your Pokémon away for them to reach their full potential, but this is different than trade evolution. Actually, the concept on its own, I kinda like. You see, in Pokémon Generation 3 they introduced Pokéblocks. They're these little snacks you can feed your Pokémon that increase sort of uh, contest stats like beauty or smartness or coolness. What stat increases depends on the berry, and well, you find berries all throughout the world, you can farm them. Simple enough. How you evolve Feebas is a unique case, where it needs to level up with an incredibly high beauty stat. You can increase your beauty stat by feeding it blue or indigo Pokeblocks, often made with Orin berries or other more rare ones. Seems easy enough, right? Just start farming Orin berries and feed them all to your Feebas. So that's exactly what I started to do. I fed it Pokeblock after Pokeblock after Pokeblock. It wasn't quite getting as much beauty as I wanted it to. For some reason, Feebas didn't really like the Pokeblocks. Also, I was unfortunately running kinda low on berries at this point, but that's okay. We'll just feed it more and more and more, and eventually it'll get its high beauty it needs. I fed it another one and another one, and then... And then I couldn't. Unfortunately for me, Pokemon can only eat a certain amount of Pokeblocks. It's kind of a way to stop them from being broken at contests. But on the other hand, there's no other way to increase their beauty stat, and there's no way to reset things in case you've made a mistake. So, you know what that means, we have a dead Feebas here who just cannot evolve. Might as well go back to the route and start finding another one. But there was a problem. My berries... were not growing. Oh, this just got a hell of a lot worse, didn't it? Okay, I should explain. Pokemon Generations 1 through 3 all had batteries within their cartridges. Now, in Generation 1 and 2's case, if your battery died, so did your game. You were pretty much done. However, Gen 3 was a bit more lenient with that sort of thing. If your battery happened to die, all that would happen is berries would stop growing. So okay, I figure my battery is dead and I need to replace it. I ordered a 3-pack from Radio Shack, and I watch a couple of tutorials on how to replace the battery inside. The batteries get here, I open up the cartridge, and, uh, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. 
Okay, so as it turns out, my copy of Pokemon Ruby might not be entirely legitimate. I should mention that I got this off of eBay. I didn't actually get into Pokemon for quite a while. And so I never owned a legitimate copy of Generation 3 up to this point, and... Yeah, it, uh... It can't have its battery replaced. But all hope was not lost. It's possible that this is the berry glitch and not actually the internal clock running dry. After all, I wasn't getting the message that other people were getting. In order to fix the berry glitch, all you have to do is link up your current copy of either Ruby or Sapphire and link it up with a more updated game. You can do it with Pokemon Colosseum on the GameCube, for example, but in my case, I happen to have a copy of Pokemon Leaf Green, which automatically can install the update if the two games are linked. The only problem there... Well... Unfortunately, the Nintendo DS and the original Game Boy Advance can't quite link together. I mean, considering you can just play Game Boy Advance games in the cartridge slot itself, there wasn't much reason to have a link cable between the two. But it certainly makes things difficult with Pokémon. Because now, I had to order a Game Boy Advance SP. Okay, I got the Game Boy Advance SP. It's working pretty perfectly. I tried playing a bit of Pokémon Gold, got up to about the third gym, and hey, look at that, I got a shiny Oddish. I got a shiny Oddish before I could get a damn Milotic. You're kidding me. But this is gonna have to go on the team now. I mean, yes, I got a shiny Oddish by complete accident. Anyway, now I just need to order a link cable so that I can uh, link together Pokemon Leaf Greed and Pokemon Ruby, fix the berry glitch, and be done with it. Okay, I got the cable. Wait a minute, this is the wrong cable. Whoops. Okay, I got the right cable this time, we're able to link them together, and, uh... I did all the procedures. Is the berry glitch fixed yet? Perhaps it's because it isn't a legitimate copy. After all, it is just a ROM on a cartridge. Maybe there's no way to fix the berries in copies like this, but then, of course, there's... no way to get Milotic. So, I resorted to the last possible straw. I bought Pokemon Sapphire, the other version of Generation 3. You did it, Game Freak, you got me to buy both versions. And at this point, now that I had two versions of Generation 3, I just did all the trade evolutions and version-exclusive Pokémon just like that. So with that, I have every Pokémon, excluding Jirachi and Deoxys, in this copy of Pokémon Ruby, except Milotic. Who'd have thought? Since I don't know where Feebas are in Sapphire version here, after all, it is random, I traded over my Feebas from Ruby version. I saved the game, and this is what's important, because guess what? Just like with Pokemon Ruby, I unfortunately can't get berries to grow here for some reason. So, I only have one shot at this. I'm gonna use all the best Pokeblocks I- It's not enough. So this time I quit without saving, so that way I didn't waste all the berries, but what gives? I still can't get Feebas to evolve. Does it require that I farm the best possible berry, the one that I can only get a single one of? Is it just impossible for me to get a Milotic? As it turns out, my solution came from this really old-looking website called Psypokes. They have guides for all sorts of Pokemon games, but I haven't done any since Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. How about that? As it turns out, Feebas' nature actually affects how much they get from each Pokeblock. If your Feebas is rash, quiet, modest, or mild, you'll get a lot more of your beauty stat filled out. So, I just gotta find a Feebas that's one of these four different natures, uh... Nope, not that one. Keep going, uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, I feel like I'm shiny hunting at this point. I've caught over a dozen Feebas and none of them have the nature I need, how is this possible? Okay, we finally got the Feebas with the nature we needed. Let's trade it over to Sapphire version, let's feed it all the Pokeblocks we can, and boom, beauty stat is seemingly maxed out. Now, all we gotta do is level it up one time, and finally... It has evolved. I never thought I'd see the day, but we have a Milotic. This journey started months ago, but I finally, finally filled out this Pokedex in Pokemon Ruby. Overall, it's a neat experiment, but I think it kind of pushed itself in a few directions that make it too difficult to obtain. After all, this is just another water type. You can get all these ones. I mean, is anyone really gonna go through all of this in a standard playthrough of Pokemon Ruby? In the middle of your Gym League challenge, are you really gonna say, Hold on! I gotta grow berries. Hold on! I gotta make Pokeblocks. And hold on, I gotta find a Feebas of the right nature. I mean, to even get to the route that Feebas is on, you have to have a Surf. So what's even the point? I don't know. I feel like they had an idea and it just kind of fell apart during execution. After all, it can't be a perfect game. Well, now that that's out of the way, it's about damn time I finish Pokemon Ruby, isn't it?